The following steps are not necessary if you've purchased a pre-configured Hotspot PA router. Thanks for choosing Hotspot PA for your internet Wi-Fi hotspot. The following information is intended for operators of Hotspot PA Wi-Fi equipment. Before we begin, let's go over the contents of your Linksys router. In the box of your WRT 54GL router, you will find the router, its power supply, and an Ethernet cable. All of these items are necessary to begin the firmware installation process. First, download a copy of the WRT 54GL Hotspot firmware from download.hotspotpa.com. Once the page is loaded, locate and select the firmware for the Linksys WRT 54GL. Save the file to an easily accessible location. You'll need it in just a few steps. Connect the Ethernet port of your laptop or computer to LAN port number one on the back of your Linksys router. Start your browser and enter 192.168.1.1 into the browser's address bar. Log into your router using a blank username and a password of admin, all lowercase. Click on Administration. Then, click on Firmware Upgrade. Select the Browse button, then locate and click on the Hotspot PA firmware file that you have just downloaded. Next, click the Upgrade button. Do not disconnect or remove power from your router for about 5 minutes. When your router's front panel Cisco indicator starts to blink rapidly, the firmware upgrade is complete. After updating the firmware, your PC should still be connected to LAN port 1 on your router. Release and renew the DHCP address by disconnecting and reconnecting the Ethernet cable between your computer and your router. Now in the browser's address bar, enter 10.1.1.1. Log in using an ID of root and a password of hotspot PA, all lowercase. Click on hotspot. Click on VPN. Then click the browse button to the right of upload client cert. Then locate and click on the crt.txt file. Click the Open button in the Browse dialog box. Click the Browse button to the right of the Upload Client key. Then locate and click on the key.txt file. Then click the Save button in the lower right hand corner of the web page. After clicking Save, be sure you get this message. It verifies that your certain key will properly install. Click on Core. Change the payment ID to your own payment ID provided by Hotspot PA. Change the device ID to something descriptive of your router, like a number or the location where you will install it. In the lower right hand corner of the web page, click Save Changes, then click Apply Changes. Now, reboot or power cycle your router. All the remaining Hotspot PA router settings have default values that will work for most situations. Please carefully read the description of each setting before attempting to make any changes. 